Hey everyone, it's Liam the Deaf Team Metalhead. I hope you're all well. Um, I thought I'd try and do a video where I just kind of show you what I've been listening to the last couple of weeks. Um, and maybe you'll discover some new music in the process. Um, there's a new album from this year and a couple of uh, ones I would imagine I've not ever seen mentioned on YouTube, maybe one or two, but I'm hoping with this video you might discover them, check them out, and you know, it might be worth your attention. So I've been a busy boy. I've been in the uh, studio with my band Consecration doing, um, well, we've gone in there and done some rhythm stuff so far. So we've got the guitar tones kind of sorted because um, we're about to go and record our new album, uh, I believe in two or three weeks time. Yeah. So we went in there last night and um, if you go on my Instagram page, you'll see some videos of what we were doing there. So if you're interested in that, obviously again, you know, you can check out the uh, band profile on that. So I won't plug it anymore, but um, I am very proud of what we've written so far. And when it's recorded, it's going to sound a tits. So if you're interested in death and doom and that kind of thing, an old school death metal, um, it'll be right up your street, hopefully, because it's easily some of the best music we've ever written. Um, and the guitar stuff on there is not mine, more Andy's, is, you know, stuff we've never done before. So, yeah, fucking awesome. Anyway. I won't plug any more. But these albums um, are really, really good albums. And I've had a number of these for years. And uh, yeah, they're just stuck. You can look on YouTube and they're not mentioned. So I'll kick off with the newest one. And that is the band Ashes of Life. This is a new release. Um, I believe it was self released by the band because I got it through their band camp. But I do think it has a label. They're a uh, solo project from a chap called Tiago. Who I'm friends with on the like Doom scene on Facebook. Um, I think that's how I met him. And um I believe he's actually seen my band live when we played Portugal last year. Um, really nice bloke, really into his Doom. Um, this is his solo project, I think, and he has a guy called Stefan Nordstrom helping with the uh, death metal vocals, who's in a band called Soliloquim, but I've probably pronounced that wrong. But he's also does his own solo kind of Doom project. But this this album really surprised me how you know how good it is really his singing um from tiago his clean singing is really good and if you like catatonia and that kind of style of um avant-garde kind of doom where it's musically really atmospheric clean guitars lots of harmonies really captures your imagination kind of takes you into an area and you kind of just sit there this is the kind of doom it's, it's got some really good growl vocals because stefan can really growl um, so you've got bags of that, but the guitar melodies on there is what really works for me. If you like, like I say, Catatonia, that, that kind of style with the really singing kind of harmonies, this is really, really good stuff. Um, I believe you can get it from there, directly from them from Bandcamp, and that's where I got it from. Just before um, COVID was a thing, actually, I think is when I actually got this, maybe a month before it was like over here. Um, oh, the label's falling out. So, I don't know if it was self-released or not, but you can see in the booklet, there's Tiago there and there's Stefan, and he has a few other musicians that help out. Really high-end stuff, um, especially for a self-release. Um, it doesn't get mentioned on YouTube, hence why I'm mentioning it now, because I really, really enjoy this album. You can put it on, first track, um, Shores, Spotless. Really, really good, really heavy, really melodic. Um, and it's something you can kind of chill out to as well. It's not in your face kind of doom where it's like all on top of you. This kind of, you can kind of sit back and put it on and really chill out with this. So definitely worth recommending. And then I'll put a link into their band camp so you can go check it out for yourself if you're interested. And then another band that I've never ever seen mentioned on YouTube. And I don't know why, because they are very, very good. Um, it's not a like high profile band it's more of a side project i believe anyway um but i saw this band on maybe youtube years ago scouting for new bands that kind of thing you know when you go through spotify and you kind of try and find bands you like um this is a band that was formed i think by daniel who is the lead guitarist for uh blood red throne and that is zero zonic now i got this album I don't think you can actually buy it anywhere unless from them. I'm not sure. I got this for free when I went and saw Blood Red Throne live in all places, Peterborough here in the UK. Now, that there's nothing in Peterborough. I mean, <laughs> when the gig was announced that they were playing over there, it was about an hour's drive from where I live. 
And I was like, well, that's weird because there's fuck all in Peterborough. Um, the only place you normally go is to collect your passport, but you can now do that here. So there was no reason to go to Peterborough anymore apart from collecting your passport back in the day because they printed it over there. But yeah, I saw Blood Red Throne over there in this really small dingy venue. There was hardly anyone there um, for the support bands anyway. And then it kind of filled up at the end for Blood Red Throne. But a really memorable gig and then obviously the band were there all you know they, they couldn't go anywhere because it was just a small room so i spoke to them and i mentioned i was a fan of his uh side project zero Zonic, and he uh, gave me a copy of this cd now if you like pantera and groove metal this is essentially what it is he's a big deaf fan and also a big pantera fan and i, I think he just combined the two with this because obviously blood red throne has got a lot of groovy riffs in there and essentially this that's what that is but this has more of a Phil and Semlo style vocals than obviously death metal so you've got the really heavy chuggy guitars uh, like Blood Red Fro with lots of groove but this is more of a fun Pantera homage kind of album um, I don't even know what it's called I think it's just a self title because <laughs> I just got given it um, I didn't even know it was out um, you can obviously go on Discogs and you'll find their older releases because they're a really really good band um, but yeah, check out Zero Zonic. I'll put a link down below for a video of theirs because it is very, very good groove metal. So definitely worth checking it out. And then another one I got recently, I uh, purely bought this on the name alone and then I listened to it and it's scary how good this actually really is. came out through Memento Mori, I think a couple of years ago. And that is, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera or not, Martyr Doom and their album Grievous Psychosis. And the riffs on this album are fucking awesome. Really, really good. Like, really good. Deffy, doomy, old school vibe, which you kind of get from the Memento Mori label anyway. But what really stuck out to me was his vocals sound exactly like John Tardy's, crossed with um, um, the singer from Asphyx, Martin Van something. It's just scary how similar his vocal style is more in the vein of John Tardy in the obituary style especially with the guitar solo that it's got that strong obituary nod to it but I don't even know where these guys are from um but it looks either Polish or Czech um so do tell me if you do know because I've not done any homework on any of these albums I just kind of recorded this video and see how it goes um it's just easier but this this is superb really strong stuff if you like, like old school death metal, doom death, obviously if you're here on my channel, that's mainly what it's all about anyway. But I purely discovered these guys by accident, purely on the name. It had doom in it. I checked it out. You know, fantastic stuff. And yeah, it doesn't really say anything in the booklet. I'll just quickly check. Lots of swearing in it. <laughs> um... No, it was recorded by them, it says they were mixed and mastered by them, so obviously they their own studio. But anyway, so yeah, that's Martyr Doom with Grievous Psychosis through Memento Mori. So do check that one out, so it's a very, very, very good album. And then some German technical death metal, who I was lucky enough to see, where was that, in Bristol, uh, at a thing called Bristol Death Fest, which was a one-off. And Bristol's not easy to get to from here. It's a good four and a half hour drive. But me and my mate Dan, singer in consecration, treated ourselves on Easter to like a weekend away. Because um, we do that now and again. We don't do it really anymore with kids and stuff like that. But back then we had, you know, the chance to go do it. And um, we went and saw, it was loads of bands. It was Immolation, Vader, Our of Penance, uh, Defeated Sanity. And these guys were on the bill. Now, I'm not a slam guy, I don't know nothing about it, I know enough to know what it is, and um, not really my thing, some of the bands are alright, but these guys I thought were a slam, but they're a bit more than that, they're, they're very technical, like their guitar players can really shred, but what really impressed me and what made me buy the CD on the day, I think he even got a t-shirt as well, was the front man, and just how he controlled the crowd, he was doing all sorts of vocal styles, I and mean, even did that really stupid pig squeal, which I don't like, but... He was doing it in a more of a jokey way, and they weren't so serious. Um, they were very fun. He had a big cone, 
Oh no, no, he didn't. He had a roundabout sign that he nicked from somewhere to get people to circle pit. So he was putting that on because you know, they're German and I don't know if he speaks English. I think he speaks English because I swear I spoke to him. But he got people circle pit in. He even had a hammer, like an inflatable hammer to get people to headbang with it. You know, comical things like that. And it made me remember them. And I still remember it to this day. Very good. Um, the band itself, Cytotoxin. I don't even think I've mentioned the band name yet. Uh, Radiophobia. I think it's all based off Chernobyl. So the whole album and the band concept is all about Chernobyl. I think they're on their third release, which is coming out soon, which I'm probably going to check out. But I think this is the first one. But it's very, very strong uh, through Unique Leader Records. Um, in 2012, I think this came out. It's quite a while ago. I mean, it doesn't seem that long ago when I listened to this, so that's scary. But yeah, really, really strong. Definitely check them out, because they've definitely got a new release coming out in the next couple of weeks, I think. And it's, you know, they've got better and better for each album. And I had a little listen to the preview of the new one, and I'll probably buy it, because there's not very many technical death battle bands I like, but these guys kind of have a unique style that kind of draws me in. And even the song titles are kind of in that kind of style, and it's all about Chernobyl, which intrigued me even more. So, yeah. And then this one, I'm very proud to say we played... Me and my band Consecration played on their last ever show here in the UK uh, before they called it a day, and that is the band Val and Fire. If you don't know who Val and Fire are, they are the side project created by Gregor McIntosh of Paradise Lost. Um, I think the story goes he lost his father, I don't know, to illness or something, and uh, he obviously wanted to get all these emotions out in a project, so they put a... Um, a band he put a band together with Hamish uh from My Dying Bride at the time. Um the drummer I think was Adrian, I can't remember he's a, he's a drummer for Out of the Gates, um and he was a drummer for Paradise Lost for a number of years. And uh I think he had a bass player and a guitar player from his down in his local pub in Yorkshire somewhere. But I I mean I saw this band on their first ever UK show, which was at Bolt Fest in London, when Bolt Fro put on a uh, big show for charity and the tickets were only a fiver. And they sold out instantly, but I able I was able to get two from me and my then uh, pregnant ex girlfriend. So that was a barrel of laughs. Um, but um, the bands on there, you had Autopsy, Discharge, um, and these guys opened for it, and then full circle for me. They they we then supported them on their last ever show, which was you know one of our most favourite shows to date, just purely because you know Gregor's a big big influence on my guitar playing, being a Paradise Lost fan, as I'm obviously wearing a t shirt now. Funny enough, you know, great guy. Um, I've even played on the festival of Paradise Lost, but we never saw them. But yeah, anyway, I'm talking shite. So this came out through Century Media in 2014. This is the second one of the three. Uh, this is more of a faster, more aggressive style than the first one. Um, I really like the first one, A Fragile King. But I annoyingly don't have it. I keep going to buy it, but then I want it on vinyl vinyl for it you can get a picture disc but the actual vinyl itself is quite pricey but we'll see but i got this when it pretty much came out with the t-shirt um you know splinters you know really really good death doom but more leaning on the death metal side um and obviously gregor doing vocals you have that unique touch and his guitar solos you can hear on it a very paradise lost sounding so if you're not checked out ball and fire please do I and mean, they don't exist anymore but you know definitely worth checking out and then lastly, this one is linked to that one, because when Val, and, when Val and Fire finished, Gregor did another project with a guy called Chris Casket, and that was Strigoi. Now, you're probably shocked to see I'm holding a tape. <laughs> I only have two tapes in my whole collection, and I got this one by accident, really. There was a pre-order go up for this, um, which is a limited edition one, and it came with like an, you know, like a body bag kind of thing with a poster patch. Uh, pin badge um, the poster is signed by Gregor and I think that was the main reason I got it I think there's only a hundred of these on white tape you know nothing fancy came out for a nuclear blast last year I think or the year before I can't even tell you doesn't even say very old school very vague but I, I was convinced this came with a CD but it didn't <laughs> so I've got to get a copy of it on CD or vinyl um likely i'll get it on vinyl but yeah brilliant band really pretty much in the same vein as van and fire but a bit more varied in the styles of it so it's, it's very similar 
to this but I mean even the artwork is very similar but this has a bit more variety going on in the style so there's a bit more of a punk crust vibe on here as well there's, there's death metal there's a bit of doom on there but yeah very mixed so if you're into you know those kind of crust punk DIY kind of sounds that you can find that on here um, but yeah Strigoi so I hope you enjoyed this video it's a bit of a mixed bag of albums there but it's more extreme compared to my last video where I showed you know pop vinyl that'll probably never happen again um, so yeah I'm getting back to my uh, angry heavy roots um, so yeah please like and subscribe if you've watched this video and you enjoy the content um, obviously check out my Instagram my Facebook more my Instagram because I use that the most um, you can find the link in the banner because I post all my vinyl in CDs I get on there and it's just not a really fun community on there. I, I talk to quite a lot of people on there quite regularly. And, you know, I've discovered loads of cool stuff through friends on there, like Wendy, Gordon, Mark, Juvacy, normally shouts out an album on his Instagram, and I end up buying it, um, which he's done recently to me, because he's obviously going to cost me a fortune, because I cost him a fortune, so it's only fair. So anyway, enough rambling. Thank you for watching. You guys take care. Cheers.